Hey there, everybody, we're Vixie and Luna, and today we're playing more, uh, Barman 65. Uh, last time, uh, we've got our butt kicked, like, handily at a boss here, and, uh, looks like we're gonna have a tower, elevator slash tower level. That sounds kind of scary. I don't know if that's something I'm interested in dealing with. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Okay. Stones throw away, don't you mean a bomb's throw away? Huh. I guess I'm not that close. Uh, okay, um... Not entirely- uh, hi, robot. Frog thing. How are you doing? Uh... You got a gun. As do a lot of things in here. Uh, you care not for explosions. Or, actually, you care not for being- for a head trauma, but you do care about... Uh, the gunman got an upgrade, and by an upgrade I mean he fell in the hole. Uh, that's what you do when you get a gun. Uh, is that a... Okay, I guess that's the... thing he's talking about. Yeah, these guys don't care about... Uh, getting a concussion. Just... Uh, concussive explosions. There's a extremely minute difference. Is that explodable? No. It just kind of looks like it. Okay. Well... Wow. Well, oh. oh, okay. I guess that's what he was talking about. Wow. Wow. And, uh, okay, the gunman. Not super amazing as job, but we'll take it. And we'll also take robot bombs, because that's legitimately kind of handy. Uh, especially against these fellas. Okay, uh, I guess these are explodable, I just never realized it. A1! We're at the hot sauce factory. Uh, is there... What's that all about? Something. I don't know, I just kind of stepped on- kept trying to stay on the green to be sure. I guess. Uh, E though. That's what the elevator is. It's the e -vator. Uh... I do not like the Gradius guys. They can go to whatever they call an afterlife in Robot Town. Uh, is this another? No, it just says E. You know, sometimes you just have to say E. It's how we do things around here. Is it explodable? No. It just kind of looks like it. Everything is explodable if you hit it with enough force. Wow. Oh. Okay, I guess I need to be... <laughs> I guess I need to wait a sec. Yeah. Hit this. Well... See, the, the reason why I, like, bumped forward is because it trained me to believe that if I... That, uh, it only activates the traps if, like, the alarm's going off. And I didn't hear the alarm. Therefore, I thought, well, I can just move forward without, uh, recourse then. That's the gold card. It's out of nowhere. It's number one. Uh, not that the order makes any particular difference. Eh. I do not like the UFO, man. He's super in the way. Zap, zap, zap. And... Okay, we need to get up there. Okay, okay, okay. I, see, I understand. A2, we are no longer about the uh, steak sauce. Uh, I do not like the UFO man being in my presence. Just need to find a way. Now will this E? It will not E. This will E though, because it says E. That's how things work around here, I guess. Uh, this isn't this isn't the E though, it's just A E. It's the opposite of a uh, certain publishing company. Uh, this, is the, this is the 
of the platform. It says E, and then it goes to a platform that says E. Uh, does this go up higher, then? I guess so. I don't know what the other E was about. There's just E's around everywhere. Who knows? Okay, uh... There's... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 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 Okay, well, one of those activates the alarm for some reason. Not always, though. Get out of here, frog gun. Get off the Tetramino. You don't belong on there. Okay, bang. E triangle. We're especially speaking the Chozo language, but also E. That's how we do things around here. Eh. Okay, what's this then? Is there anything? No. Not particularly. Uh, I guess that's it for up here. Uh, I do not like the Gradius guy. He can go somewhere else. Please. Can you please go somewhere else? Ah! Shoot. I mean, I guess they're somewhere else, if that constituted somewhere else. Wow. Okay, we can go to the up path now. Okay, these don't do anything, but they probably will now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, be careful. It's a tight squeeze, but somebody has to squeeze. Mm-mm, fresh grapes. Okay. Guy is in the way. Guy is also in the way. Two explosions will not deal with the guy, because, uh, but a bomb brushing past him will knock him out, I guess, somehow. Ding. Well, and that is what triggers the alarm, of all things. Oh, that's not the alarm, that's just that, I guess. Uh, whatever that is. Uh, explode this. Might be something. Go away, Gradius man. I do not appreciate your company. That's that. I am just kind of assuming. Eh. Being on the green is good. I do. I don't know. It's doing something. Uh... What are you talking about, my friend? I hope the Gradius man can't reach me via tenacity. Uh, are you gonna come back around here soon? Eh. Okay, I'm probably going to be concentration mode for this. Eh. 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 Okay. What's that do? Something, I'm sure. Uh. Yeah, I agree, Bomberman. What? Oh, is that seriously bringing you just back to the front? Yeah, that just goes back here. What the heck? Okay. Well, that's kind of rude. Dang, okay, you can't run through that. Ugh. Uh, oh, boy. Fun. Oh, and that just kicks you back out of the start. Uh... Please tell me the progress was saved. Okay, I saw the thing of blank gold cards and got really scared for a second. That I had to start the entire world over. Ugh. Over there. Oh, does that activate when I touch this? Camera does not want to show me. Uh, yeah, I, maybe that's progress over there, possibly? Eh. 
Yeah, I just gotta hit the one switch now. Uh, hi, gun guy, get out of here. One switch. We gotta switch to the one. And I walk over here, walk over here. Where's the gun guy? He went away. He doesn't want to be here. Well, neither do I, to be frank. I'm not frank, though. Uh, is this the other? No. It's just a place vaguely resembling uh, the place I was thinking out downstairs. Uh, is a suspicious E there. Uh, wherever that may lead. Which I guess... I still don't know what's down there. I guess... It's probably gold card related, maybe. I don't know. Uh, is this the end? Uh, yes, but it's inaccessible. Okay, then. I get the feeling I might have missed something. When, uh, Sirius was trying to explain to me what the heck was going on. What is... Okay. Uh, noted, that's a gold card, I guess. Can I step on this? Uh, yes, I guess. Okay, well, that's an alarm then. Uh, noted, I guess. It reminds me of the Phantom Menace. Okay, at least I know all the stuff to the left of me is optional, I guess. So we just need to find out how the heck to... Uh, get that door down. Possibly. Uh, I did not try bombing it. Come to think of it, to be honest. So, uh, maybe that's the solution. And I just, like, quit too early. Uh, Alright, there's up here, too. Uh, die. No, it's not anywhere we have to be. It's right over here. Actually. Yeah, Upperino. Okay. Can we just blow this up with a, a little bomb? You can, I just... Okay. I just quit too early, I guess. Okay, I do not trust the setup of this. It's sounding like an enemy gauntlet shaped thing, maybe. Uh. Up. Uh, I don't know, I just want to. I mean, this. I guess if it's not throwing an enemy gauntlet like it did last time, it revealed a door, I guess I'll be satisfied with just kind of moseying around, trying to find things that are potentially around. Oh, I killed enough enemies. Okay, then. Sweet. Don't have to worry about that one. Uh, is there anything up here, then? Uh, there's you. We don't need you here. In fact, we need you not here. Uh, even just scouting would be fine at this point. Uh, I've forfeited on the idea that we're gonna shush. Stop. I hate the greatest things. And uh, okay. Okay, let's just leave then. Bye. I don't need. Well, I do need to bother with you ever again because, yeah, we have found. Well, I know where one of the gold cards is. Uh, I just need to find it. Find it. Uh, as in actually collect it. Okay, well, let's face uh, the final boss. This is it, Luigi. I've got a cool surfboard thing. Unless that is him. You just disintegrated your bridge. That can't be very cost-effective, man. Who's the one taking the L now, huh? You were... Yeah. Uh, that's what I came all the way up here for. Oh, you got a dramatic flare and everything. 
Uh, oh, right, I don't have remote bombs anymore. I got too used to the concept. Hi. Eh. Stop being in the way. Okay, we're finishing off in a classic bomber fight. And as usual, he's... Uh, hi, laser man. How you doing? Uh, can I kill you, too? Uh. Possibly. Uh, are you dead or Oh, you're just moving to safe phase too. Okay then. Uh, are you gonna fuse it or something? Gonna put on some cool mech armor? That's pretty 90s. Yeah, he's just fusing with the uh, his vehicle thing. He's become super armored. Super armored Superman. That's 90s as all heck. That's how you know this game was 1997. Bonk. Oh. Well, I tried to bonk. But you just didn't want to. You just really don't want to be bonked, do you? Hi. How you doing? Whoa. Hi. I'm surprised that slash does literally no damage. Just a bonk. Okay, you were just not phased by that at all. Okay. Eh. Okay, you're gonna... Yeah, you're gonna... Uh, no personnel, kid. I said I do not know how... How to... Actually attack you directly. Uh... It's just like, anytime you get bombs near you, you just run away. Uh. Okay, I guess I have to just man somehow manage to bonk you in between an attack or something. Yeah, like that. Uh, that's doing something. It's not fast or pretty, but it's doing something. Said, I do not know how to hit you on the head. Uh, hi, Regulus. How you doing? You pay. Well, I can't. I'm in like several million in debt due to a weird blonde kid. Okay, well, hey, that was the final boss. We did it! Yay! It's got the victory music and everything. And our weird rainbow polygon birds. Oh no, they got faces. Just can't see him. And he's just gonna leave these uh, floating islands here. Because why not? Well, that stinks. <laughs> okay. That's a weirdly anticlimactic way to leave, leave things. Yeah, that was close. yeah weird little ball raccoon things. Oh, I got credit sequence. Whoa. Uh, obviously we're not, like, quite done because, uh... Yeah, there's a whole... Okay, well, there's a whole thing... The whole reason we've been collecting the gold cards is because, uh... They actually unlock an extra world. Uh, spoilers, I guess. And, uh, that's why you grab all the gold cards. So, uh, obviously, like... Uh, for Black Fortress's, uh... Uh... Cleanup session, we're gonna get all the gold cards, and then, like, beat the final boss uh, one more time to unlock the, like, actually real ending final boss place. Uh, pro pr it's probably hinted to you by the fact that uh, this is such an anticlimactic ending. Just, like, the villain leaves. Like, he just, like, straight up leaves, and then the guy who's been helping out <laughs> is like, Man, bar man, you're pretty cringe. I'm out of here. Put it that way. So, I don't know. I've collected most of the gold cards, man. Don't need to be a ham about it. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna put my final thoughts in this game, because, like, there's still, like, a whole extra world to go go through. Because, uh, yeah. It's like, Bomberman's just standing there. He caused destruction 
and then just stares at his handiwork. Bomberman just doesn't know what to do with himself sometimes. This is what happens when you're made out of spheres, tragically. And also staring at a big robot, not robot, but lizard mouths. And hey, it's the not-so-heroic man. It is weird how he's like so upfront about like... Yeah, pretty lame Bomberman. Which uh, I guess there is also a reason for that, because uh, I know I said that this is part of the game I haven't experienced before, but this is also uh, something I'm already aware of. What are you doing, Bomberman? This is not how... Oh. I guess that's... Okay. They just stick a hint in... Uh, that's not how I got that gold card, but sure. I guess that works as well. Are they just gonna get, drop hints for like all the worlds? Maybe? I guess. Uh, between all these cutscenes. Because, like, he didn't drop a hint for Green Garden as much as he just did the thing Altair. Not Altair. Have I been calling him Altair? Serious. He's been just telling you to do. Yeah, there's a lady. You know, she's the lady because she's got the stuck out chest and everything. Eh, I guess... Oh. Yeah, again, they're just hinting at you where to find things. It's like, oh, <laughs> hey, do you want to know where the red bombs are in this stage? Well, here they are, bud. I hope you enjoy that little tidbit. I mean, I guess that is fair, because, like, again, if you, if you get... You're more than likely you are probably gonna get here before you're... have properly beaten the game. But, uh... Yeah, hi Orion. You caused me lots lots of stress. You are a big scary man. Uh, you're not even that big. It's so weird because I seem to remember there being like a big bodied bomber in this game, but there just wasn't. I guess because I don't know. It seems like every bomber man has like a big bodied one. Uh, at least from like what I've passively gathered for the bomber bomber men, I've like seen but not played myself. Uh, wow, well, he's, he's, he, yeah, he's just showing off, hey, there's something in here. Wouldn't you like to know what it is? Well, I'm gonna stand in front of this bomb and have it explode right under me. That'll surely lead to riches. Yeah, I wonder how the cleanup run of Black Fortress is gonna go, because, like, still to this point, uh, the Green Garden was the only hard one, which I guess is fair when it's all, like, the tutorial area, therefore, like, the easiest place, so it has the hardest secrets, I guess. So, I'm surprised they didn't drop a hint for that, if they're dropping hints for, like, other areas in the game, I guess. I don't know. It's like, wow, there's the dragon that I incorrectly called a pterodactyl. As it does things. And it, oh, you didn't show the title card? How lame. I was gonna. I don't know. I thought he was gonna drop hints on how to get gold cards off bosses, but no, he just kinda there. Just kinda walking around and. I don't know. Observing the fire. That's a neat fire effect for N64 standards, I guess. Yeah, Project 64 just does not like this boss boss fight, I guess. Uh, understandable, because I guess there's just a lot of moving parts in it. Swoosh. Whoa, Bomberman's Bar got a question mark over his head. Whoa. Uh, is that another hint that you have to... Because that's a pretty obscure one. Like, I mostly just found that out of desperation, to be honest. Uh, these credits are going kind of long. Uh, one of these days, the credits will clear up, maybe. I don't even know if I should be watching the entirety of these credits, to be honest, because uh, we're probably going to be seeing the credits again. Well, oh, he's going to show a hint for this. Of all things. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. How do you do this? Ha! 
Huh. Well, okay. That's how you get that then, I guess. Uh, screw me for messing around with that for like half an hour. Trying to figure out how to get up there, only for it to turn out there to not be a gold card up there. Man. And, uh, wow, it's a pretty uh, Aurora Borealis. And by pretty, I mean uh, ultra compressed. Now, what's he doing? He doesn't have a running animation. What are you doing, Bomberman? Well, that's not his running animation, that's just a normal animation. Wow, he's sitting down. Oh yeah, they just keep dropping hit, like... Hey, there's a tiny little tidbit. Uh, he's, he's really happy about being next to the spire. Good for him, I guess. Yeah, this credit sequence just keeps dropping hints on where gold cards are. That's the theme. It's like, I don't want to skip it, because, like, who knows if this will be the same, like, credit sequence. Who knows? Tahiruki Tabushi. Big robot Gabushi. It's a big man. The camera effects are making Project 64 not enjoy life. How sad for it. That, whoa, he punched. I've never got hit by that before. Surprised you dodged that, Bomberman. You must be a master player. Down, guys. You gotta appreciate it. You know, yeah, just appreciate the staff, because they work hard on these things. Just, you know. It's like, again, I don't want to, like, explain final thoughts, because, like, we're not done with the game yet. Like, not even, like, quite close. But at the same time, it's like, uh, trying to find things to fill all this dead air here. Look at that child. Is it, it looks nothing like its parent, to be honest. They look like completely different species. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I thought to do at first, but, well, I guess that might be uh, low-key required for a hundred, or in the time trial. So thanks for the hint, Barman. Uh, it's super appreciated. Yeah, it's song. Yeah, can, can you, like... No, no, it hasn't been showing things on the bosses. It's like, this thing beat my butt, and I am not quite looking forward to fi having to fight it again, to be honest. Because, uh... Big scare... What the heck? Okay, then. I've never seen it do that. But that's a thing it can do. Well, then. Thanks for the warning, I guess. Unless that's only something it does when you're, like, on the opposite side of the room from it, maybe? Which, uh, I guess that would be an easy way to bait it into getting hit. Okay. Yeah, give me a hint for this, because... I kept messing with this for a while before I just, like, kind of gave up. Oh. Well, is that all? Okay, then. Well, aren't you just... How do you stop the bombs in midair, dude? What? Is that allowed? Is that legal? Or are you making it legal? I, I guess I... <laughs> I have an idea how to get that... Whatever is behind there, I guess. Now, well, are you gonna show this, like, entire cutscene? I don't know, it's sped up a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Barman ponders the loss of a bridge. He's so sad over this. That bridge was his friend. Sad. Tabak. Gimmick. Those are the names I've read. Now we gotta show this thing again. It is like... I don't know, that just kind of reminds me of, like those toys that have, like, a vehicle with them, but also the vehicle turns into armor. Like, specifically. 
Hudson All Staff, Nintendo All Staff. Uh, did Nintendo work on this directly? I thought it was just, like strictly a Hudson developed thing. And obviously Nintendo would have like had to approve it because it's on the N64. Can't get on the N64 without being approved. Unless you're illegal, that is. Have you broken the law, Bomberman? Probably wouldn't be the first time. This man has probably com uh, committed several war crimes. Yeah, we're just getting the whole game in review here. Watching the Spire Castle just go away. Bye. Management. Dikitoshi Endo. Are you still around these days? Uh, that's, that's a weirdly morbid thing to think. <laughs> I was like, this game is weirdly... Whoa! Hang on, that's spoilers, man. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? I'm not supposed to know about this yet. <laughs> we haven't unlocked this yet. What are you doing? Uh, I guess that's there to hint. Hey, there's more game. Look for it. That is kind of nice to have the. That's like the whole reason to watch this whole credit sequence is just, hey, there's stuff here. Hey. Oh, what are you doing? You shot me in the face. That's rude. Hey, Hudson. Wish. Miss you, kind of. Wish you were still around. Sadly. Uh. Mario Party has not been the same without you. Although that said, uh, they finally eventually came back around on Mario Party, just... Oh, is that the end? Am I supposed to hit a button? Okay. I hit the button. Uh, that's the end, whoa. Okay, uh, next time we'll have to figure out what the heck is going on with the... Uh, Black Fortress stuff. Whoa, Barman! 